Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we have a new charger from ISDT. It's called the UC4. Now this thing charges four 1S LiPos, not HV LiPos, just LiPos, which is a shame to be honest. I really wish this charged HV LiPos because all I have are HV LiPos and that is, you know, the only thing that's being actually used for micros nowadays. So I don't know why they've gone ahead with just basic 4.2 volt 1S LiPos. So this is kind of strange for me. Anyways, that being said, let's get started. So this thing takes a USB-C input. So for example, this thing can utilize the quick charge protocol, which whether it's QC2 or QC3, and also just do basic wall type, any cheap, you know, adapter here. So we're gonna be testing these two and we're gonna see if we can actually uh, hit that 18 watts. Can it actually withdraw those 18 watts of power? And we're also gonna see if we can get it to switch over to nine volts on one of my fast charging wall chargers here. And I wanna see just a basic cheap one that's, you know, this is just a five volt, two amp wall charger. This is the QC charger here from Samsung. Um, it'll do, you know, basic charging and it'll do the nine volt QC 3.0 wall charging. So, all right, so that being said, let's go ahead and connect everything and see what we can do here. Uh, as you can tell, it takes these types of connectors, just, you know, just the standard size nowadays for the uh, 1S LiPos. So that's really nice kind of, but again, I do really wish, I wish, you know, they can release some sort of an update that allow this to charge to 4.35 volts uh, for the HV LiPos, but you know, what can I do here? So as you can tell, when we have the batteries plugged in and it's not charging, it'll keep blinking red to tell you that you're not charging or you know your your charger has been disconnected. So let's go ahead and plug this in. And again, this is USB-C. And what's really nice about this is it can take advantage of the QC 3.0 charging protocol even on laptops. So that's that's pretty awesome right out of the box. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it up on my USB power meter to see if we can actually get it to output those nine volts here. So I'm just gonna plug everything in here. All right, now I'm about to power off, power everything on. And there we go. So we're at five volts. Oh, it jumped to nine volts. So enabled the QC charging from the charger. So it said, yes, I am QC compatible or quick charge compatible. So give me that nine volts. And it's going to 1.6 amps, which is the maximum rated for my Samsung here. So it's sucking all the juice right out of the charger, taking it to its absolute maximum limit here. Now, the purple here means that it's charged. Oh, it's difficult to see. So currently, this is purple. And what purple means is it's charging each battery at 1.5 amps. It's very difficult for you to see that it's purple. Now, this is white, which is 500 milliamps. And if we switch it over one more time, this is uh, blue. Oh, it's very difficult to show you. Oh no, here we go. And this is blue, which is uh, basically one amp. So we can actually switch this all the way up to 1.5 amps. Now I'm wondering if, uh, it, the thing is, it doesn't really change on the amperage here, as you can tell. And it's currently withdrawing around 14.7 watts. So it's it's taking full advantage of the, the quick charge protocol here. Now let's go ahead and try to set this up to, we're gonna set it up to 500 milliamps. And as you can tell, the amperage that it's drawing is, is a lot less. It's jumped down to one amp here. So that's really nice to see. However, to be honest, that's not really the case when uh, we switch it over to just a basic five volt charger. So let's actually plug in a basic five volt charger here and uh, see what it does. All right, so this is a cheap, Chinese no-name brand charger that I got with something I don't remember what it was, but it doesn't matter Let's go ahead and plug this guy in and uh, let's see what it will do here So as you can tell this thing cannot go over 5 volts because it doesn't have you see it's just a basic wall charger here Now there's something to take note of here no matter what I set this on it'll always want to pull as much current as it possibly can from the wall adapter. Now this one's rated for two amps here. And uh, currently we are charging at one amp, which is the blue light. It's very difficult for you to see. This is the purple. And uh, this should be charging everything around 1.5 amps here. And uh, as you can tell, we're, we're reaching around 1.7 amps, which is uh, pretty good. It's actually doing what it's supposed to do here. Now, if you take a look at each battery, it has different blinking lights. So basically if we have it just blink once, that means it's less than 40%. That battery is less than 40%. And if it's blinking twice, it's anywhere between 40 and 70%. And if it's blinking three times, it's uh, anywhere between 70 and 99%. And when it's solid, that means it's full basically. So yeah, overall this thing is working. And again, it's a shame that it's not compatible with high volt LiPos because that's what I would use it for. Now this thing is just gonna have to sit here and just uh, collect dust until I get some super micro quadcopter that just takes normal batteries. But yeah, I don't know what you were thinking ISDT on this one. 
it has a lot of potential and it's really the form factor is absolutely remarkable look how thin this thing is it's 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 amazing how small this so yeah this thing has a lot of safety features over current protection uh short circuit protection also uh over temperature so if you, if you hit a specific temperature it'll actually disable itself and uh just keep everything running safe and smoothly here so that's something really nice and um, overall, it's a nice little piece of hardware for 20 bucks. But then again, I wish there's some way we can possibly update it or they can release some sort of an update that will allow it to charge HV batteries. Or, you know, they should have put some other button or something else that allow me to switch between normal and HVs. I don't care if I can choose separate. I mean, just all of them. If it says HV, then I don't mind having to charge all the HVs and then switch over back to just a normal LiPo and then charge those. I don't care if I can, uh, if, if I'm not able to choose uh, each port to charge a specific type of battery. But then again, you know, some people still don't have HV LiPos. So, you know, this thing will work just great. And uh, it is actually doing what they're stating that it should be doing, which is also something really nice and something pretty awesome from ISDT. And well, that's it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a really simple video. And go ahead and check out these batteries. They're like five of them for 13 bucks on Banggood from URUAV. So they're a really nice bundle. Go ahead and check them out. I'll have a link to them down below. They work pretty great. I don't have any issues with them so far. I've been using them not as much as I'd like to just yet, but I'll have an update video on these uh, later on once I put more time into them. So overall, this thing will work on just a normal charger and also the QC chargers, which is a huge plus. So you're not going to affect its performance in any sort of way. But again, make sure you're using a pretty decent one because this is actually getting kind of warm. Not, not so warm, but it is taking full advantage of every single amp that this thing can provide. Uh, so it is very power hungry in that perspective. So keep that in mind. And well, that's going to include it for this video, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Everything's linked down below and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.